Before we move on to other news, I have breaking news. Go ahead. Um, so uh, Congressional Progressive Caucus uh, had not endorsed Nina Turner, uh, progressive champion, co-chair of Bernie Sanders campaign. Uh, and then they put out a statement saying that it was a unanimous vote uh, that everybody uh, uh, voted for Chantal Brown's endorsement in the Progressive Caucus. It seemed like an absurd, outrageous thing to say. Uh, we of course demanded transparency and wanted to know the vote. Well, guess what just happened? Breaking news, AOC has just endorsed Nina Turner. Oh wow. So apparently not unanimous, apparently not unanimous. Okay, so Mark Pocan, Pramila Jayapal have a lot of explaining to do. Did they lie? Why did they lie? What was the actual vote? Why are they lying to me is the most important part. But putting that aside, hey, AOC, thank you, okay? Uh, look, I, I wish all of them had done it and I wish all of them had done it earlier. But a little bit of unity here at the end as people begin to see, Oh, wait a minute, actually Nina Turner might win. And all of a sudden, right, but hey, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the first progressive in Congress to back Nina Turner the day before her election. So far, no one else has, and that is amazing. But that is the breaking news and good news, AOC now on board and endorsing Nina Turner in Ohio 11. Let's go vote. Obviously, I'm happy that AOC has come out to endorse Nina Turner. The primary race in Ohio is tomorrow, so you know, not to be too critical, but I would have liked to see that endorsement much earlier. And I would have liked to see more endorsements from, you know, certainly the more left wing members of the progressive caucus. We know that there are all sorts of moderates within that caucus who are not at all progressives. But when you think about the Ilhan Omars, the Rashida Tlaibs, you know, people who have really taken the mantle of progressivism in terms of the way they've branded themselves, what are they waiting for? Why didn't they come out and endorse her? Uh, either today or honestly, I would have preferred much earlier. But I'm glad that this has happened because at least it's made it clear that the leadership in the Progressive Caucus is not being honest with the American people. I want to know why as well. Um, so we'll see how it all plays out. But yeah, man, I, can I just say, running for Congress on its own without all the drama is an incredibly difficult thing to do. I mean, seeing what you had to go through, Jenk, was pretty disheartening, discouraging, demoralizing. But to see your friends either abandon you or not have your back is so incredibly painful. And I hate that Nina Turner, someone who doesn't deserve it at all, has gone through this, has gone through it so publicly. Obviously, she has our support. We've defended her. We've done all sorts of coverage about what her platform is really about, something that you won't see on other platforms, on other news organizations. It's just, it's it's really heartbreaking because she really is a fighter, but that's how fighters get treated in the system. Um, they get abandoned, they get smeared because they actually want to fight for real change. Yeah, you know, uh, this is not self aggrandizing. At this point, it is an absolute fact. The only people who don't abandon progressives, especially fighters and leaders of progressives, is TYT Nation, Young Turks audience. And so, when no one else showed up for Nina, we showed up from day one, all of you guys. Look, us without you is nothing. Either you give the five bucks, 10 bucks, 27 bucks, or you don't. By the way, in this race, we're maxed out. You don't have to give any more money. So the race is tomorrow. We bought as many ads as we could possibly buy. And by the way, we reached everybody in Cleveland three times over. So all those establishment people so comfortable thinking they've got it locked up. I can't wait till tomorrow. I don't know what's gonna happen. They might have just overwhelmed us with the money that they spent on television. I don't know, okay? But I do know we gave it everything we had, and I do know that they were not expecting us. And if Nina wins, TYT is going to send its regards. And so I I can't wait till tomorrow night. Find somebody in Cleveland, make sure they're voting, make sure their whole family's voting, everybody's voting. I expect a very close election and we could make the difference here. And so look, I'll take it. Thank you to AOC, always give credit where credit is due. And if the others say, hey, there was too much pressure on me. Well, that's not exactly a profile in courage, okay? 
And so we have long memories. So Rebellion PAC just spent $200,000 on the Nina Turner race. Will we spend that in the race for incumbents who claim to be progressive, but who weren't there for their allies? No, we will not, okay? But if you're a true progressive and you're a fighter and a leader, well, Rebellion PAC and TYT Nation has your back. So I, I know the establishment has a lot more weapons. I'll take the Young Turks audience over all of them combined, and tomorrow we might find out. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.